One question I get asked quite frequently is regarding the menus on WordPress. So here I am on my home page and you can see here that I have all these different links set up and the question that I get is how do I make this main link, this blog topics link, not link to anything. So when um, viewers are on your page they only have the option to select one of these instead of if you click say over here you click about it'll go to my about me page but what a lot of people want to do is have that link to nothing so if I'm on blog topics and I click blog topics I'm not going anywhere I have to select one of these categories it's actually pretty simple and I'm going to show you how to set it up using my um, tutorials menu item as an example so I'm going to toggle back over here to my WordPress admin area and I'm on the appearance menus screen and you can see here that I have my menu set up and it's pretty long <laughs> and um, there's a lot going on but what I want to do first is add that heading on tutorials because right now my tutorials page goes to the tutorials page well I want to add another um, menu item after that and I don't want tutorials to link anymore so what I'm going to do is to get that main link that doesn't go anywhere I'm going to click on the links right here and instead of typing in a URL I'm going to type in um, the hashtag the pound sign the number sign what what have you it's it's that one so you're going to put that instead of the URL and then you can just link your text or add the text as you would normally so I'm gonna do tutorials okay now it added it to the bottom of my page right here I'm going to reverse these because I want that one that we just added there and I want these tutorials to nest under that tutorial but I want to change um, the name of tutorial the second tutorials here so I think I'm going to do um, how to dot 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 that sounds good I like that I'm gonna keep it with that so how to dot 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 and then I'm also going to um, add theme support pages and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to come down and do um, a link URL is going to be the pound sign. And then I'm going to do theme support as the text. Okay, scroll down and again it added it here. So I am adding that right under the how to. And then I want to scroll up here and I'm just going to add my different um, theme support pages here. And add all these scroll down and then I want to nest them under the theme um, support main heading okay I'm gonna, I want to keep them alphabetized alright so again to recap for those pages that I don't want to have um, I don't want to have my viewers click on I've added this pound sign here and then I've nested the other pages under it I'm going to save that And let me come up here and do a reset or a reset a refresh I believe is the word so now when I go to tutorials I am not brought to any page see I'm clicking and it's not getting me anywhere that's because I put that pound sign as the link URL instead of actually having it direct to a page I can click on um, how to here and it'll actually go to the how to tutorials page and then if I go to theme support I'm brought up over here with a menu of different themes different theme support pages to go to and that is exactly what I wanted to do so I hope that covers it if you have any questions um, feel free to contact me thank you